Hammer 6, this is Hammer 3. Scouts in the Blackjack Brigade believe they have identified an HVT at grid Alpha Bravo 354982. Poor visibility prevents confirmation. Request approval to reorient collection assets to positively identify the target. Hammer 3, this is Hammer 6. Roger, approved. Put strike assets on standby. Hammer 6, this is Hammer 3. Roger, moving TLS into position to provide PID on that HVT at Alpha Bravo 354982. Hammer 6, this is Hammer 3. TLS is collecting now. Stand by for confirmation and refine grid. Break. Strike 5, this is Hammer 3. Stand by to engage target in vicinity of Alpha Bravo 354982. Hammer 3, this is Strike 5. Roger. Hammer 6, this is Hammer 3. HVT is confirmed. Fine grid is Alpha Bravo 35423-98218. We have PID on HVT. Request approval to engage. Hammer 3, this is Hammer 6. Roger, engage. Strike 5, this is Hammer 3. Engage at grid Alpha Bravo 35423-98218. Hammer 3, this is Strike 5. Roger, engaging now. In the heart of the Great Southwest lies Fort Huachuca, one of the most modern of all the Army's installations, where 8,000 men and women are working to find new ways of protecting America. The U.S. Army came to the Huachuca Mountains in 1877. Colonel Augustus Katz sent Captain Samuel Marmaduke Whitside to secure the Mexican border. He established a camp benefiting from a fresh supply of spring water and geographical protections of the bowl-shaped San Pedro Valley below. Camp Huachuca quickly developed into Fort Huachuca and by 1892 became home of the Buffalo Soldier. The all-black 24th Infantry Regiment was first to arrive, followed by the 9th Cavalry and the 25th Infantry Regiment in 1898 and the 10th Cavalry in 1913. The fort served as a key regional outpost and training grounds for many regiments and divisions up to and throughout World War II. Fort Huachuca closed in 1947, only to be reopened as an engineer aviation training center in 1951. In 1954, the fort again reopened as the Electronic Proving Ground, or EPG, and the 11th Signal Battalion was activated. This mid-century alignment would serve to establish Fort Huachuca as a prime testing and training facility, as headquarters to the Army Communication Command, and an Army Intelligence Training Community. Today, the fort continues these three prime directives, testing, training, and operations. It is home to over 6,000 active duty soldiers. The U.S. Army Intelligence Center, the Army Network Enterprise Technology Command, the 213th Aviation Battalion, and the EPG. Each year, between 10 and 15,000 service members are trained in military intelligence and unmanned aerial systems equipment and fieldings. As it has throughout its storied past, today's Fort Huachuca is once again positioned to be a key contributor in modernizing the nation's military for an electronic, complex battlefield and building the United States Army of tomorrow. Our Army faces an inflection point that requires innovation, creativity, testing and evaluation, and training necessary to improve the application of combat power, and hone our warfighting function and our capabilities. Our nation's adversaries have gained on the Joint Forces qualitative and quantitative advantages. If the Army doesn't change, I believe we risk losing deterrence and prevention of our nation's most sacred interest. We want to ensure that Fort Huachuca provides the testing and training activities and in the environment necessary to take our soldier and their units from qualified and proficient to experts and mastery levels in their assigned intelligence electronic warfare task, in their warfighting function, and on their weapon systems. Fort Huachuca is a designated Sentinel landscape, a DOD, Department of Interior, and Department of Agriculture Conservation Partnership 
that preserves the natural landscape so vital to electronic testing and training. The program will protect Fort Huachuca's vital missions into the future. Working with our partners surrounding the base um, has, has ensured that we don't have encroachment issues uh, onto the Fort Reservation that would challenge our ability to conduct that important testing and training mission. The topography of Fort Huachuca is really instrumental in allowing us to do the testing and training missions that we've got. A nice high electronic bowl that prevents energy from coming into it from population centers like Tucson. And all the energy is kind of contained within this bowl, which is about 2,500 square miles bounded by the mountain ranges uh, you can see here. When you're conducting electronic warfare testing, you need to be able to emit signals that could potentially interfere with commercial radios. As a major range test facility base, Fort Huachuca possesses the right electromagnetic environment for testing and training. Along with the natural bowl created by the surrounding mountains, Fort Huachuca already benefits from having a DOD spectrum manager, restricted airspace, frequency availability, and spectrum controlling natural terrain to execute these specialized testing and training operations right now. These attributes are why the test community arrived here in 1954 and why Fort Huachuca is postured to support a modernizing army. That means that we can test long range sensing systems as well as place our threat emitters in the environment where they would be representative in terms of what we would expect to see from an enemy order of battle. You want to be able to use these regions on Fort Huachuca, mountainous or the wooded areas, to be able to characterize the performance of tactical radios or intelligent surveillance reconnaissance based systems. We have a test range. It is uniquely situated and was designed specifically for training and testing electronic warfare systems. It allows us to operate across an entire frequency band without interfering with the communities or any other commercial broadband. For example, your cell phone. It really gives us the ability and the capability to, to do some unique testing and training here that you can do nowhere else in our Army. The Electronic Proving Ground is a test and evaluation organization. Our primary mission is to plan, conduct, analyze, and report on developmental testing in support of the Army Futures Command. EPG has access to 1.6 million acres in support of Army modernization. EPG's test facilities are being modernized to accommodate new technologies in assured position navigation and timing. There are new tactical radios and network systems that are coming out. We invest heavily in technology advancement. We need to employ machine learning, artificial intelligence, the next generation of combat vehicles. Those are all key areas where EPG is readily involved in supporting the Army modernization. One of our goals at Fort Huachuca is to be included in Project Convergence, which tests DOD and Department of the Army capabilities. You know, when you link the National Training Center and Fort Huachuca with White Sands, with Yuma Proving Ground, you really have an opportunity to test across time and space all the different capabilities that one would need to train on uh, as we look at multi-domain operations. While the EPG focuses on developmental testing, the Intelligence Electronic Warfare Test Directorate, or IEWTD, oversees Army operational testing. IEWTD provides uh, the operational testing of all of our new intelligence and surveillance reconnaissance, our electronic warfare, uh, biometrics, and all source intelligence systems, those four main categories. And within electronic warfare, that also includes assured precision navigation and timing. Those are the systems that help us uh, shoot, move, and communicate in GPS denied environments. These are the systems that we put under realistic conditions to ensure that they're fully vetted and that they're survivable, effective, and suitable before they're fielded uh, to the force. The information from these tests go to uh, not only Army senior leaders for their modernization decisions, but also to other services and joint partners for their decisions as well. Under Army Futures Command, the Army is undergoing its largest modernization effort in 40 years. 
The conceptualization, development, and integration of this effort for military intelligence capabilities is orchestrated by ICDID, or the Intelligence Capabilities Development and Integration Directorate. Through organizational force structure, collection, and processing system solutions, ICDID is the architect of how Army intelligence is designed, structured, and equipped to fight and win in large-scale ground combat. The mission of the 111th Military Intelligence Brigade is essentially to train the Army's intel professionals. And that starts at the lowest level with our AIT students that come to us from the basic training sites. It includes our officers, and then it also includes our senior officers and NCOs, so those lieutenant colonels and colonels and their command sergeant majors who are getting ready and preparing to go take either a battalion or brigade command or a division or core G2 position. The mild climate of Fort Huachuca offers more than 320 flying days per year and provides a unique opportunity for manned and unmanned aircraft to operate in the same airspace at the same time. The 2nd Battalion, 13th Aviation Regiment is responsible for executing uh, 12 different programs of instruction. We have two unmanned aircraft systems, airstrips, also a Class D airspace. And so really our mission is to provide world-class training and instruction for UAS operators, maintainers, and leaders to ensure that we're providing the fighting force with soldiers who are fit, trained, and disciplined, and prepared to fight and win our nation's wars on any battlefield now and into the future. With a unique environment, capabilities, and authorities, Fort Huachuca has emerged as a critical cog in the wheel of Army modernization. Fort Huachuca is positioned to develop the Army's first non-kinetic, multi-domain operations capable range. By supporting integrated development and training across the operational force, our combat commanders and soldiers can trust the capabilities they need to prevail anytime and anywhere the nation calls.